Okay, so um, congratulations on the win and Thank obviously you. the goal, your first goal. How does it make you feel? It's uh, amazing, especially scoring my first goal as a college student athlete. Um, I'm very proud, but I feel like the team did so much work and my goal is just to top it off for the team. Yeah, it was, it was definitely a banger. Um, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Um, so just talk about, you know, how the team had progressed. I mean, I know you didn't get into the second half, mm -hmm. but uh, talk about what you saw throughout the match and how you guys ended, and you obviously topped it off at the end. Yeah. Uh, throughout the game, our intensity was very, very high in the beginning. Then uh, we scored, obviously, a very, very good goal, and then our intensity went a bit down, and then we brought it up again. Uh, as a team, collectively, we played very well. I'm, I was very happy and very e eager to come in, and when I did, uh, I played well, and then obviously with the goal, it, it made everything better. So I'm very happy with the performance of the team, most of all, and I'm very thankful to, to play for the Knights. What was the first thing that went through your head after you nailed that goal? When I, I just, I don't know, I put the, I chipped the keeper, and then I, I just looked around, everyone was screaming, I just, I just didn't know what to do, so I started screaming, and yeah, it, it was very fun. It's kind of weird, you don't know how to celebrate, I, I, yeah, there, bro. I didn't know what to do. Nah, I feel you, dog. <laughs> you guys shot, shot him 22-2, to two. I don't yep. know if you know that, it was an offensive juggernaut performance, yeah. what do you think that says about the way you guys just keep the pressure on all 90 minutes? Obviously we have a very dominant team. Uh, very t a team that keeps the ball and likes to attack the goal. Um, we like to, you know, pass the ball around. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so repeat it. Um, I think, like I said, we our, our team is very dominant, very structured, especially with our coaching staff. That makes everything much easier. Um, the way we play the ball and pass the ball around, uh, like dominating the, the ball, the field. I don't know. <laughs> What's it mean to go undefeated at home? Or undefeated at home. I'm beaten at home. I mean, that's our objective. This is our home. This is what we, we have to do. We can't let teams take points from our home. And keeping it down and playing hard and for the fans, like, thank you for coming. We really appreciate it. And especially with a goal like that, it means so much for me and my family and, and the players on my team. How do you think like the fans and like the crowd and like the noise that they generate like that that helps the team and stuff like that? Obviously, the um, the intensity that they bring boosts every player up. Yeah. Like when when they scream after we score, the intent like the 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 crowd just makes me personally feel, and I'm sure it makes everyone feel so much like special, and it gives us so much energy to play. So we really thank you for coming, and we hope to see you soon. So you guys got a few more days until the next game Wednesday. You don't have to leave the state of Florida, so that's good. Yeah. What's the plan moving forward? Are you just going to relax, enjoy yourself, or are you going to get right back at it? Oh, we're going to get right back at it. We got another game Wednesday against the top 20 team, so that's going to be very hard. Obviously, we're going to – already tomorrow session for the, those who didn't play as much, so myself included. Um, we're going to go right back into the grind, keep doing our, our set pieces, our plays, and keep working hard as a team. All right, Jeremy, thank you. Congrats thank on the you. win.